lightsaber. Since I got my VR set couple of months ago, I've been wanting to review virtual reality games as well. Although I've been stopped by several issues. One of them being that I don't have many VR games. Uh, so much normal games are piling up and oh, VR just has to the sidelines for a while. But the other issue is one of the real deal breakers. I am not getting any signal on my capture card when my VR is connected. Or I will get a signal on my PC and then it doesn't recognize my VR. It's an endless, vicious cycle. So basically, I can't record and play at the same time which is kind of the point. So I am doing this review using my trusty handheld mobile phone, uh, which uh, is mixed uh, with recycled material from YouTube. I will provide the material links down below. So, Beat Saber. My god, this game is worth a good review. What you do is simple. You hold your move controllers, which turn into lightsabers in your hand. And your job is simply to chop the shit out of cubes, which are coming towards you as you listen a sweet soundtrack. Simplicity equals fun in its purest form. Sadly, I can't play those sweet soundtracks here. Copyright devils will attack me once again. So you have a single player, uh, which is a kind of sandboxy type remote. You can also join online games and matches. And you can, you can play campaign mode in this one as well. Campaign mode has a lot of missions. Everything after level 10 becomes challenging. I mean truly challenging. I have to have a towel with me just to wipe my face every now and then. Girl, I want to make you sweat. Each level has different rules or so-called modifiers. Some require you to beat the high score of this level, or some ask you to travel a certain distance with your lightsabers. As you move, you gain meters, and uh, some levels, even vice versa, require to uh, you, you to make minimal movements. So you have to just <laughs> only using your wrists. You might think that hitting those cubes is easy, but you need to hit every cube from a correct angle and side. You gain points depending how accurately you cut. You gain multipliers on combos, and before you know it, you are doing some crazy actual samurai shit. I'm a couch samurai myself. I always play sitting down. Luckily, I can still pee standing upright. You'll pee on your computer, your bed, your wife, your dog, your chair. I would piss in my chest of drawers, in my t-shirts and stuff. So you are hacking and chopping those cubes. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's ridiculously fun. I, I'm sure that this game took, uh, took some, you know, inspiration from Fruit Ninja, maybe. Maybe. I'm sure that Fruit Ninja was before that. But regarding the VR experience, I mean, this is a true VR experience. Game like this simply does not work on a regular TV screen. This game, Beat Saber, came out in November this year on PlayStation 4. It was previously available on PC. But that was definitely a correct timing, an appropriate timing, as you probably all know about the Guitar Hero shutting down. And this was my jam as well. I'm happy that now I have another game to play besides Guitar Hero. And to be honest, as we are heading towards the future, I'm happy to learn that this game Beat Saber, this Beat Saber uses the most modern technology. It's the perfect successor to Guitar Hero. But there are some issues with this game as well. Uh, first of all, I wish that the selection of music would get bigger as we go along. And uh, as there is a quite small default library of tracks right now. I know that on PC version, people can add their own tracks, custom soundtracks. And the game will generate the worlds for them. You know, I, I, miss, I miss that. If you have ever played Audio Surf, then... Uh, there, there you could also add your own track and a uh, customized uh, level would be generated. You also need a bit of room to play this game because sometimes you need to step aside and uh, you know as I'm sitting down it's easier for me. I can just you know slowly to the right and slowly to the left and uh, I can play this game that way as well. So for me this is one of the best VR experiences this year. I have played quite a lot of different games around 15 to 20 but this game offers the most fun, uh, not in VR reality experience wise, but rather the immersion and the fun combined to a perfect concoction. I give this game 9 out of 10, with a spare room of VR porn beating it. 
I hope that you enjoyed the review. This one was a short one, but uh, still I think you got the point. I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time.